Hi, my name is Paulo Gonçalves. Uh, I am the director of the Master in Humanitarian Logistics and Management. And today I'd like to tell you a little bit about uh, how we designed this program. The way I think about the program is that it's an executive MBA for humanitarian practitioners. And it was designed to cover the gap that exists between uh, strategy and tactics, tactics and operations. The program is structured into four major modules. And those modules cover uh, specific topics in uh, broad academic areas. So the first module is called uh, Organization and Strategic Management. And uh, it in encompasses uh, classes like organization behavior, strategic management, human resource management, leadership, negotiations, and managerial accounting. Right? So um, what we understand in terms of the courses that are uh, in this module um, are courses that provide people with an overview of uh, general management. So if and when they raise to the levels that they have to run their organizations, they have a perspective of the important tools that they can use to be effective. Another module that we cover is project management. And in project management, we have courses like the principles of project management, really thinking in terms of basic tools that you uh, use in project management. We have what we call a managerial toolbox. So not only understanding the tools, but the significant experience required to manage projects uh, properly from a managerial perspective, right? So not necessarily the quantitative tools, but the, the techniques. We also have a course on uh, information management, as this becomes very important in the field, and uh, a course on scenario planning, right? So going from strategy to implementation, understanding how strategy drives specific projects. And finally, we have a course on uh, project modeling. When you look at the interactions across projects, you uh, understand how these things are connected. What are the HR capabilities required? What are the uh, inventory or resources available and how they influence each other? So that's the, the module in project management. One of the modules that attracts significant attention from practitioners joining our program is the module on supply chain management. This module includes courses on the principles of supply chain management, supply chain design, operations management, decision models and optimization, and supply chain modeling, transportation management. Now, in the principles of supply chain management, you get the basic terminology, the basic tools to understand what's happening in your operations in supply chain management. Then we go into design. We think of issues of demand forecasting, inventory management, and others. Um, we have decision models that uh, focus on optimization and other tools that allow you to um, run your operations more effectively. We have uh, a course in operations and supply chain management that understand capacity constraints or how capacity can influence delivery with the importance of uh, KPIs and our key performance indicators and uh, other issues uh, in, this, uh, in this sector. We also have um, a course on transportation management that focus on network models and transportation models that allows you to set up your um, logistics more effectively. So that's the course, uh, that's the module in supply chain management. Now the first three modules, strategy and organization management, uh, project management and supply chain management, they give you an overview of strategic issues, tactical issues and operational issues. And uh, for all practical purposes, they could be associated with any organization, not necessarily an NGO or an UN agency or a humanitarian organization. So what is missing or what complements this uh, um, offering of courses is a module on emergency and disaster management. Now, we call it emergency and disaster management, but it's really providing a focus on humanitarian action. So we have courses on uh, first providing an overview of the history of humanitarianism and humanitarian action. Then we give you a framework for the legal context, international law and humanitarian affairs. 
then we go from a sociological point of view to an understanding of emergencies and disasters. And how do we analyze the framework, the sociological framework that influences operations? We also have courses on the political aspects as well as the log logistics aspects of delivering humanitarian assistant, assistance. And, uh, and then we talk about disaster risk management. This is a course that provides significant perspective on running operations in the humanitarian sector. I usually don't say much about the last module, or at least I don't emphasize it as much, but because this is a master program, we offer courses on analytical thinking and uh, uh, statistics. So this research methods uh, module provides you with the underpinnings uh, for uh, students to develop solid research. So I just uh, gave you an overview of uh, the composition, uh, the design of our program. With this training, people have a chance to not only understand strategic issues, program issues, and uh, operational issues, they understand how they influence each other, as well as how they operate in the context of humanitarian operations. What it boils down to is that uh, people that go through the program with its emphasis on application and practicality, people manage to use the tools and uh, run operations more effectively, have more impact, have uh, more perspective on how to structure, how to design their operations and get results. I think that uh, this is a significant step towards capability building in the humanitarian sector.